Good day, mate. We got a really big video today. This is going to be pretty cool. Not only are we going to discuss Star City Games and uh, their 250 card Magic the Gathering MTG Bulk English Rare Lot that I purchased for $43.99 plus $7.70 shipping and handling. But on top of that, the playmat's going to be given away to one person. I have chosen that person based on what they said. And I must say, guys, there was a lot, and I mean a lot, of really good comments. Um, I, 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 there was over like 700, and I read through all of them. One person is going to take that home. And boosh, the Ixalan pack. From that God Bundle I opened up. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. I will announce those two winners sometime throughout this video. Oh, I'm going to keep you in suspense. But this is going to be worth it because what I did, I went on eBay and I was looking around and I came across Star City Games. They're pretty reputable in uh, the Magic the Gathering world market. Uh, and I purchased 250 card Magic the Gathering MTG Bulk English Rare Lot. Uh, it says near mint to, uh, I guess, soft play, somewhat play. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no duplication. That's what sold me, Star City Games, is the no duplication part. So this is basically a review of their lot. This lot contains 250 Magic the Gathering rares in near mint to slightly played condition. May contain cards from revised up to most current set. Contents have been accumulated over a lengthy period of time, but have no duplication of rares. Hats off to you. All right, so without babbling anymore, let's just jump right into this. So yeah, that was the seller, because I looked at about, shoot, three, four other sellers, but only one, only one seller, and that was Star City Games, said that they do not have any duplication of rares, and that was the sale point for me. That was big. That was very, very big. Make sure there's no shipping in here. Looks like there might be something for me. Pull this. Yep. Oh, yeah. That would have been right freaking smack dead there. Boosh. Okay. So let's see what 250 rares from Star City Games looks like. It looks like a bunch of rares, guys, in case you didn't know. And this was, uh, I think, I'm not sure if this playmat in the background was the original one I ever used. I think it was. I kind of did it in like a commemorative, you know, form. All right, 250 freaking rares. Wow. We could be here for a little while there, guys. Um, again, I don't know the value on these cards. If anyone sees something that stands out, that is amazing. But they did say it was bulk, and I'm going to have to take their word it's bulk. But the thing with these bulk cards is in time. Uh, some of these cards can go for a pretty penny, or they can go up three, four bucks because there's a need for them, there's a use for them. They, they find synergy. I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, I'm going to chop this down into a few stacks. Bada bing, bada boom. And yeah, again, your guys' likes and uh, comments are um, very appreciated. Have you guys ever bought anything online similar to this kind of product? If you did, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know about it. Let's go through these. Kathion's Irregulars. I can't read what every card does. We'll be here all freaking day long. Trait doctoring. All right. Got the sky lash in. Renounce of the guilds. Maybe I can do some color organizing. Let's do color. Oh my goodness. Let's do. I have a thing. I got to do red, white, blue, green, black, gold. Artifact. Uh, noise. Markov Blade Master. This is 250. Red goes first. 250 rares. Jace's Mind Seeker. We have a jinxed idol. Would you say Elvis Presley was a jinxed idol? Bada bing! I don't know. That's terrible. That's that's not right. Buddy Holly. Oh, my God. Zealous conscripts. That's wrong. That's wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm just kidding. It was a joke. You guys had to lighten up. Foundry champion. A bio visionary. Biomass mutation. <coughs> Realm right. I mean, in a sense, this is like... A, Better than buying a repack. If you're going to go out of your way and purchase a repack, um, first off, I don't recommend you do that. And second off, you're better off buying something like this because you're just going to get a ton of rares. That's a cool card. You're going to get a, sh a crap ton of rares, man. And uh, 250 rares for 50 bucks, roughly, this cost. 
that's not too bad considering a lot of the times you're just going to get screwed over. I'd say 90% of the time you're going to you're going to lose money. 95% of the time you're going to lose money in a repack. That's cool. Take that card. Um, yeah, you're going to lose money in a repack for damn sure. And by the way, Star City Games has no clue I'm doing this. That would defeat the purpose of doing this video. If anyone wants to get crazy and go out of their way and ask them if uh, there was any communication whatsoever, like any other repack seller that I've purchased from, they're going to tell you no because there was none. Um, this is just, what, what's the freaking point of doing that? I'm not giving, I'm not selling you to, I'm not selling you like it is. I'm not telling you like it is. I'm lying to you. I'm cheating you. If if I go and say, hey, man, I'm going to review your 250 freaking cards. Cool, huh? Make sure it's really badass and hooked up. So that way, the next person that comes along is a sucker, and they get ripped off because it's not the product that you're guaranteeing them or that I'm showing them. So they're going to be so pissed. I'd be setting up these sellers to fail, and there'd be negative feedback left a freaking all over the place. But that's not what happens. Because when I open these things, I'm genuine. Covenant of Mines. Ooh, Garden. We've been just having a hoot here, haven't we? I haven't even seen some of these cards before. So it's pretty neat to, um, to see quite a few of these. Mind Lock Orb. White Sun Zenith. Ba pow I wonder if any of these cards are worth like two, three bucks. Victory's Herald. Um, I'll give some... I'll give my two cents really quick on the new... Um, Masters 25. Disappointed? Yeah. But, uh, you know what? Maybe. Just maybe. Call me crazy. What if they plan on putting in more Mythics in the Mythic slot in every box? What if they're going to put, like, f like, every box is guaranteed as many as a normal booster box? So you're talking, like, three to five. Maybe four to five. Maybe four to six. What if they did something like that? What if they increased the amount of Mythics in each box? Would that just freaking blow your mind? I'm just saying. I mean, I feel like there's got to be some kind of catch because there was all this hype about uh, Masters 25, and I honestly thought Wizards was going to hit a home run. I thought it was just going to be phenomenal. And what is your thoughts on 25? Please, love of God. Um, that's something we haven't really discussed on this channel. I've seen all the spoilers already. I didn't make any myself because it's just something that's been done by like 10 different channels. And what's the point, you know? Love this card. But, I mean, really, what do you guys think of it? Um, that being said, I'm going to continue rambling on here about my thoughts on it. I saw all the I saw all the cards they reprinted on the set. There's some pretty... There's some more expensive ones. You know, you got like four cards that are worth over 50 bucks. I believe there were four cards over 50. Um, the Jace is up in there, obviously. It's one of the heavy hitters, um, amongst other cards. But, man, really, uh, if they're just going to, if they're just selling that product like it is, with nothing, nothing else spectacular, nothing like I said, where they're going to include extra mythics then I believe that the product is, is never going to sell for over, like, 210 bucks. Um, I They got to step it up. Killing wave. Because um, Masters 25, I, 25 years of magic history. You would think 25 years of magic history would be a huge, huge celebration of Magic the Gathering. I mean, I've almost been playing 25 years of Magic the Gathering. Not entirely, but I started almost 25 years ago. I expected to see some pretty badass cards, to be honest. And uh, yes, we did see quite a few. But the value of some of these mythics is so... A cool card. is so god-awful that if they don't increase the mythic slot... There's there's a chance you can open one of these boxes and get nothing more than like a $5 mythic in your entire box. How pissed off would you be? You just dropped 200 220 bucks. I mean, whatever the freaking case may be. And then you're getting screwed. 
You're 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 maybe gonna make out like a hundred bucks value. What the crap is that? I mean, that's bad. That's really bad. And it makes me. Uh, it almost makes me cringe at a at a point. You know. I really hope that something. <sighs> I, I hope they step up the mythic slot. I know that would be something that would go against the grain, but maybe that's like their thank you for 25 years of Magic the Gathering and us buying all their stuff. I don't know. I'd like to believe it is. I'd like to believe there's something that we're missing in all this. I really freaking want to... I, I want to say we're missing something. Guys, let me know your opinions. Discuss it in the below. I, I'm not. This is not a joke. I want to know everything. I want to know all your thoughts. I, I'll even jump in the comment section below if I see a good debate open up there, um, and and uh, I'll put my two cents in. You guys know I do that any uh, all the time anyway. But this is something that uh, we're only gonna we're gonna find out when uh, when the time hits. We're gonna find out when the time hits. What are they all? We will find out when the time comes. The only way... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Was that... Is that a, is that a duplicate? I'm kind of half paying attention. Nope. We did not get that. Thought we did. Man, I was wrong. All right, where were we? Ooh, we got a land. That's our first land. Uh, so yeah, really curious. Conqueror's Pledge. I, there are some pretty cool uh, rares up in here, I must say. Armament Master, Devout Lightcaster. But it did say bulk, so I mean, I knew what I was getting myself into. Oh yeah, let's stop right there. The winner of the play mat. The winner of this beautiful, gorgeous play mat is gonna be Philip Litton. And guys, there was a ton. Thank you so much for all the comments and all the shares on that video. Obviously, there's going to be a thousand people disappointed. <laughs> That's just the way the cookies get it crumbles on these kind of uh, giveaways. But a lot of you said some really nice stuff. Uh, a lot of you spoke about friends and, uh, and and you know family and and bringing people closer together. And yes, I mean that that really is what magic's all about. It's about having a good time. And, uh, you know, uh, socializing. It's a social game. Unless you go on MTGO, which is really not too social. But still, it's social in the comments, you know. Um, uh, in the messenger on MTGO. But one comment stood out. It was very simple to me. Very short. And uh, it's something I've even once said. Um, Philip Litton said, the question was, what is it you enjoy most about Magic the Gathering. And Philip Litton responded, it's an escape. It is an escape. He used three words, it's an escape. Damn right, it's an escape. It's an escape from, uh, from, our, from our sadness. It's an escape from our day-to-day, -day. it's an escape from our job. Uh, it's an escape from the, from the kids when they get a little, you know, like too crazy and, you know, like become a handful. Um, it's an escape from the wife. It's, I mean, it, sometimes you can include her as well, you know? Um, but I mean, maybe the nagging part is what I was trying to get at, you know? Um, not that guys don't nag also. Let's not get carried away here. Um, but you know, it, it's just an escape from, from any stresses, really. I could have just said that and summed it all up. Magic the Gathering is an escape from stress. I mean, look where it was first created. Seattle. Seattle, Washington. It was born in Seattle, Washington. And what happens in Seattle, Washington, for those of you who don't know, it rains, like, all the frickin' time. I mean, clearly this dude was like, I need something to do inside. I, I need to escape this rain, you know, and have some fun. Um, Richard, uh, that's, where, that's where I think Richard Garfield was going with that. Return to Rank's cool card. And uh, I think he nailed it. So when I go and when I see all these YouTubers, man, I, uh, this is all you're going to get out of me um, discussing this. But when I see all these YouTubers talking about everything wrong, cool card, cool artwork, uh, everything wrong Wizards of the Coast is doing, 
why aren't they talking about anything right they're doing? I mean, this is the game that they even have a YouTube channel in the first place is because of this company. And then just to sit there and bash them on every single thing they do. Like, in their minds, there's nothing right Wizards of the Coast can do. Um, and I just, I don't, I don't get it, you know? I mean, some of the things I do get, you know, I'm not even going to mention the stuff, but some of the things I heard was pretty bad, you know, that, that they allowed for some time to go on, I guess, and didn't take any action on. That, yes, I get. Um, I do have, you know, a, a kid of my own. I, I understand a, a thousand billion percent, you know, um, some of that stuff I heard was disgusting, but I, I can't even say aside from that. I mean, that's pretty bad, but all the things they've done good. I mean, like they dwell on one like, they're It's like they're trying to shut down Magic the Gathering for good. Like these people are like attacking the shit out of them. And, uh... I don't know. It, it's like you realize the only reason you have your channel is because of your passion for Magic the Gathering. So where the hell did you lose that passion? Um, and, and why do you still even have a channel? If you're so upset about Wizards of the Coast and the direction they are going and their practices and everything that, that's been going on, that's cool. Men are the meek. Cool card then seriously, you might want to just reconsider your channel and just, like... I, I, they're, all they're doing at this point is bashing the company and making money off advertising revenue. That's it. That's all they're doing. They're just, they're just destroying the company, talking all the shit in the world, scaring away every frickin' player possible because there was a, there was a, a mistake uh, made with the company... Um, allowing certain people to be judges, and that that created just this chain, re you know, this, this horrible chain reaction uh, that set off all these events. And yes, I agree with them. That is bad. Okay, yes, that is bad. I, I agree with the YouTubers. All right, that is bad. What happened there? But at what point? I mean, do we say, all right, we got to put this. We got to. We got to stop talking about this. We got to. We got to talk about something else because what if we, the fans of Magic the Gathering, what if we destroy the game altogether? There's no game to play at that point, guys. I mean, that's the point I'm trying to make here. You know. I mean, it's like holding. Uh, it's like hating. I don't, I don't even know what it's like, but it's like, it's almost like uh, hating a, a certain nationality because of a few bad people um, that maybe rubbed you the wrong way or did something terrible, you know, and now you like stereotype, Spellbinder, that's cool. Now you are stereotyping that entire, uh, that entire race or, or nationality. I mean, it's like that, you know, it's like... I don't know. I really just don't want to get too much further into it. I think I said what I had to say. You guys have an idea of my thoughts on this. Uh, and this is why I don't talk about this stuff, because it's negative. It's negativity, it's disgusting, and it needs to stop already. It just needs to go away. Um, and that's why I like that you guys come to this channel. Um, but I think it's something that was kind of long needed to be addressed. Because for so long, uh, it's been going on. And it's, 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 I think it's hurting the game more than anything. And it's just, it, it's making people that are just talking smack. Uh, not even smack. I mean, again, some of them have some valid points. I get it. I really do. But now, I mean, they're not even, they're not even Magic the Gathering channels anymore. They're just drama. That, that, they're not, they're, they should change their names. Um, they're not magic anymore. They're drama. I guess maybe that's one reason M, uh, uh, Jeremy at MTG headquarters changed his name. Because, I mean, he, he's media now. He, that was a smart move on his, on his... That was a good play, Jeremy. You changed your name from MTG headquarters to Unsleeved Media. Basically, he's like, all right, man. 
This is going to be raw coverage. Let's go. I mean, when he got, ba- I think when he got banned, the whole Watsi uh, ban came down on him. I don't think he was too happy with that. And uh, the gloves came off for Jeremy. And, uh, you know, that that was something that he didn't like. But then also he used it, you know, to fuel his uh, his agenda and campaign. Ooh, some older stuff, Primal Clay. And he did what he did, you know. I don't, I don't blame the guy. I mean, I, I don't I don't hate on any of these channels. Even though Jeremy and I have had our beef in the past, I mean, it's all squashed and over with. I don't really care. Um, I, I, I wish the guy the best, and he's doing good. But, man, it's just... And I even do, I go over and watch his videos sometimes, but it's it's just so, Living Land's cool card, it's just so, uh, I don't know, it's so it's always so negative. But, I mean, that's what he does. That's what he does over there, and I guess, hey, more power to you, man. Do whatever it is that makes you happy. It's your freaking channel, right? But there's there's been a big following of channels doing the same exact thing. These are cool, these older cards. Um... There's been a big following, and these channels uh, are just basically walking in Jeremy's footsteps. And it's like they, they use the roadmap he created and drew out, and uh, they're using it now just to generate revenue for their channels um, by just bashing on a company that, that, they, uh, that they have a passion for. I don't get it. <laughs> Someone explain that to me. I mean, I just, I just don't get it. Blessing, look at that. <laughs> plus one, plus one. <laughs> so basic, so simple. Blessing. That's some old school artwork right there. Wow. Way back in the day. Cool card. Aladdin's ring. Wow. We got into some older stuff. I know I just went through it really freaking quick here, but man, pretty cool old stuff. Got the cockatrice bottle of uh so I mean came and say it. <laughs> Aladdin's ring. Um yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm done talking about it, but I had to get my two cents out at some point here. Sorry, Star City Games, during a review I did that. <laughs> uh, not that they give a damn, but uh, it is what it is. That's a really cool card, Grim Return. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I just don't freaking know. I don't know what to say. Do what you do. Do what you freaking do, man. <clears throat> Ring of Gix. Ooh, we got into some older legacy and whatnot. Pewter facts. Profound journey. Obscuring Aether. Foul renewal. And I do apologize uh, for those of you who like that I stay drama free. But I mean, at some point, I mean, when when I when I type an MTG or Magic the Gathering. Um, or even Watsy, and all I see is bad stuff. I mean, it didn't used to be like that. As I guess that's the point I'm making here. It didn't used to be like that, and now it's like that. That's all it is. Um, and uh, there's there's quite a few of us who um, keep it drama free, and uh, we have fun. But uh, yeah, I had to dabble on that. I really did. <sighs> that got my blood going. That's why I don't talk about this stuff. I mean, I got a headache now. All right. Um, yeah, no more. That's it. You guys heard enough from me. All right, here we go. The winner of this. All you had to do was comment, a random comment. This came from that, like, God Bundle uh, box. Uh, Andrew Wilson. He said, Toy Boat. Office Space. Hey, Peter, watch your cornhole. That's what he said. It was just the most random comment. He spit it out there. And I was like, okay, man, that's cool to me. So we're going to crack this sucker open. Could it have a rekindling phoenix? This is going out to you, Mr. Wilson. Uh, is, if it had a rekindling phoenix, that'd be crazy. There's been a lot of talk. People want to know what the hell's inside this. I am dying to find out what is going to be in the end here. Oh, my God. Congratulations, man. Contact me at, uh, I'll give you the email in one second. Holy crap. What are we going to get? Reckless Rage? Will it be a flop or will it be something nuts? Enter the Unknown. Golden Demise. Deep Root Elite. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. What a freaking box. What a freaking box, man. That was like a god bundle. For those of you who haven't seen the bundle, go back and watch it. Congratulations, Andrew Wilson, Philip Litton. That's who it is right there. 
You guys are the winners. Contact me, mossbergsworth at gmail.com. Specify exactly who you are. I prefer that you contact me using the ID that you use on YouTube here. So use your Gmail account, whatever it may be. Uh, I think it's Gmail. Contact me, guys. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm sorry I got into the drama a little bit today, but I think it just needed to be addressed on this channel. Um, I think every big Magic the Gathering YouTuber at one point has addressed the drama going on. Uh, so there you go. This doesn't belong here. This is giving this is giving away. I'm just sending you that out, man. Uh, what else is up in here? I'll send you those three uncommons too. Uh, no comments for you. Cost too much to ship. But yeah, I think it just needed. It was long overdue. I had to say something. And there's my two cents. There's my piece. Um, I, I could talk forever on it, but I don't want to. You know why? I want to have fun. And uh, being stressed out and negative, it's not fun to me.